ask everybody who watches this or who has watched it. Uh, this is Bobby Gaines, a.k.a. Chaos Blur from Bobby Productions. And today is episode six of my retro request party. Very special time I like to have with my viewers in which we visit games from yesteryear. And for this episode, I'm going to be focusing on a very special console to me. That is, of course, the Sega Dreamcast. Now, I've got too many Dreamcast games to even show here, but <laughs> they're all in this tub. Um, I'm not going to say I have everything, but a lot of popular Dreamcast games that I'll be going through today. And as always, this will kind of depend on user interaction in terms of what I play and for how long and what kind of games. But right now, I'm going to start up with one that I tried to play in a past stream. Uh, Dead or Alive 2, which of course didn't go so well because, well, the disc was infamously scratched and all that other good stuff. But uh, I had a friend of mine take a look at it, fix it up pretty good, had a couple issues with it, but it does play. Let's hope it plays now that I just jinxed it. Um, also, a quick shout out to Wilsden, who followed me while I was offline uh, about last night at some point. So thank you for that. We are now up to nine followers. Woo! <laughs> All right, once again, welcome to Chaos Blur. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, this is the sixth episode, and I hope it's going to be a really fun one, specifically for this uh, stream here right now. I'm going to switch on over to the Sega Dreamcast display. So Dead or Alive 2, of course, is a fighting game, highly stylized, you know, very, I don't want to say very well known, but it's a decent game all around. So we're going to yeah, see what she said. Cross our fingers here and hope that this goes through. It's random. Let me be random. Let's roll the dice. Take a chance. Make it happen. Well, that's uh, that's a sticky wicket, isn't it? See, if it gets stuck on this loading screen, I'm generally screwed. But if it makes it past it, I've been able to play the game, believe it or not. Anybody who watched the like, past stream of Dead or Alive 2 knows that the game was kind of dead on arrival in some cases. But if this doesn't work, I've got about, well, I don't know, 20-something more Dreamcast games I could try. <sighs> Kidding me. Just my luck. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'll boot this up one more time, see if I can get past that screen. And if not, then I will move on to something else because there are plenty of great Dreamcast games. Really, the great thing about the Dreamcast is that it had so many kinds of games, but really some great fighting games, racing games. It actually suits itself pretty well for retro gaming. I mean, despite the fact that it is an old console, it had some games that really appealed to 90s gamers and even some of today's gamers. So let's go back to the game here. Hope for the best. Once again, Dead or Alive by Tecmo, baby. No VMU connected. Well, that's just plain wrong. This controller also has some issues. Yeah, I know. They don't give me the uh, best in the the best of the best in terms of gear when it comes to these. Alright, no idea what you said. Sounded like a tiny cat. Maybe the random screwed it up. To be real, Hayu Boshu can't say the name. Probably a good idea if I can't say the name, not even try it. Come on, all right, here we go. The winner is me. My friend myself on it doesn't seem very much like it. What's cool about these games is, except that I can get my butt kicked, the environment is highly, like, interactive. Not as much as this one, but this was kind of the beginning of the series, and you can knock players out of the ring into different parts of the environment. I don't really like, and maybe I get the way to do the settings. But in the story mode, it's basically just a one-off. You see me just this guy down the stairs. So, like, instead of being best two out of three or whatever, it's you either win or lose, and then you just kind of keep going. Like, oh, oh, damn. Let's do that again. Fare thee well. Get ready. It's like, uh, I'm taking a dive in the water if I'm not careful here. This guy gets abused like Jagger. I guess I did just say that. Not the best fighting game I've ever There are a lot of really good ones. Soul Calibur, I've demoed a number of times. Oof, Jesus. 
Today's episode, though, if possible, I want to try to do some different games, because I always do the same new Dreamcast games, I've done Sonic Adventure, I've done Crazy Taxi, I want to do some different games, I got some obscure ones, so, even I might try them, and some, some of these games I haven't tried very often, ah, oh, don't tell me to replay pros, oh my god, alright, well, we got a few minutes of the game anyway, I think that might just have to be good enough for today, in terms of that game, Ooh, welcome to the party, nobody, go ahead and Dead or Alive 2, if anyone wants to request it later, they can. Right now, I'm just kind of warming up. Like I said before, I've done a number of these retro request parties. This one, of course, specific to Dreamcast. Nobody's here right now, so I don't know. And I, I don't want to just do a game I've done before, but I also don't want to do a, uh, you know, like a crappy game just to kill time. But speaking of crappy games, I say because I don't really know. Uh, this is Rippin' Writers. I'm pretty sure I didn't like this game that much because I didn't play a whole lot of it. It's a snowboarding game, kind of like SSX Tricky, except if I remember correctly, it was not that great. I don't think it's an arcade port. I think it's just a game made by some no-name developer. I don't know who made this thing. Bonfire. Anybody heard of them? I haven't. Also, I've got a few memory cards I might need to switch between. I don't, I'm not too concerned with get, keeping a save file on this game, though. I don't think... Um, I don't know. I just don't remember this game very well. Rip and Riders. So this will be a, kind of a exploration thing for me, too. See, I got a lot of games in here, like I said, and oh, presented by Sega. Maybe they did make it. I don't know. Developed by UEP Systems. Supported by Solomon Bonf. Oh, those just might be like sports brands. Like that looks like something I'd see on a snowboarder's jacket or something. All right, music's kind of cool. I'm just gonna delve into this real quick. I'm not too worried about you know save files or beating the story mode. I don't even think there is one. That was supposed to be a badass in 2000 or 99. What the heck am I watching? Now, if this doesn't get you to watch Chaos Blur, I don't know what will. You're not going to see Rippin' Riders on too many Twitch channels, I can guarantee that. Oh my god. Got any snowboarders out there? Alright, well, we're going to skip the intro. I don't think anyone's going to mind if I skip the intro on this. Rippin' Riders. Oh, 99. Got, 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 got. I don't know what this stuff is. The OP is just cut off. Like, it's not even just on my quick screen. On my TV screen, I cannot read what OP options. is. Oh, it's options. So I could have figured that out. Really? That's my play guide? I know what the buttons are. Just press the heck of it. Let me see if I have any data. Load completed. I guess I had some save data on there. I don't know. Look at this sophisticated menu. Really? Oh, okay. I could not read that text to save my life. So we got free ride, super pipe, match race, which is unavailable. I'm guessing that's a uh, online mode or something. Sound is louder than you again. Well, that's because. I don't know what that means, does it? It doesn't help that, like, every Dreamcast game is different in terms of sound. Hold on. Hey, according to my meter, we're about even. Now, let me try that. Is that better? Also, welcome, Bex, to another exciting episode of this thing I do. Free Nobody ride. asks for, but I do it anyway. I'm like a chef that just keeps giving you food that you didn't ask for. A bit lower on the game, or a bit lower on me? Welcome! I played this game like twice. I, I don't even know. Tia. Wow. Costume one or costume two? Yes. I'd like to point out that I've barely ever played this game, so I don't know if it sucks. I really don't. Oh god, I can't read that. It's like white on yellow. Regular or 300 something. I'll be regular, I guess. I don't know. Mountain review. Regular diet? I don't get that at all. Alright. Goofy? I am goofy. But, uh, yeah. Regular or goofy? Wait, that's that's a goofy? It looks like I'm a 300. Go. Here we go. Everyone, here comes the trick point. You ready for Remember it? SSX Tricky? This is not bad. What are you doing? I think I'm racing anybody. I think I'm just going down this. Nope. 
What the frick? Yeah, I think my controller got unplugged again or something. Here comes the trick point. You ready? Controller was removed. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, now the game is just that bad. I'm my controller is plugged in. Maybe this is goofy. My freaking analog stick is not doing anything. Oh, my character just hit her more. head. My freaking god. Hey, I said I didn't play this game before. I, this was not exactly a greatest hit. Okay, now I have some control at least. This is Rippin' Riders. It's like a Dreamcast. Oh, we got two viewers. X brought a friend. Thanks, narrator. I never would have known that. <laughs> it's like my thumbstick just goes out in a little Oh, thank God that ended. Time's up. Too yeah, bad. Yeah, too bad is right. I would say let's try Goofy, but I think we just did. Oh yeah, I really, I really want to save this. The next time I don't play it. So much progress I made. So how we doing, Bex, and other viewer Welcome. person thing? Ronnie. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Man, that is goofy. That is really hard to read. Mountain review. I think that's the only course I have. Aim for the goal. Yay. Let's make it happen. Ready? Go! Here we go! Every, here comes the trick point. You ready for it? Bomb oh, that yeah. cliff! Good! Not bad, but you can do better than that. Uh, I probably can't. This doesn't look that much different than the other one. Maybe they just added a few obstacles, like a mini golf thing. Ah, here comes the trick point. You ready for it? Bomb that ah. cliff! Ooh, oh, oh crap. What are you? Whoa! Like the uh, snowmen from Mario Kart. Hey, you okay? Nope. Okay, definitely don't remember almost falling off the mountain. Uh, hello, gravity. No! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I laughed at that. Must have hurt. Oh my god, you gotta be. I have like no control over this. Other than to jump. I thought it was my controller, it's not. It's like on the parts that with a steep slope, it just. I mean, it just uses gravity. That's it. I don't know how to get more time. I don't know how to do things. I hear sheep bleeding in the background. Okay, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you later, sheep. Hey, you're running out of time. Seems like it could be a decent game if they like Check made the controls ahead, decent. Step on it. Ah, great. A checkpoint. Oh, what are you doing? Whoa! The acting is so bad. Whoa! It's not that bad once you get going, but it's just so tough to be made. God damn it. I'm gonna play as this tricky now. Okay. And again, I just feel like I'm getting stuck on nothing. Oh my god. Hey, go, go, go. Oh my god. Ouch. Oh, come on. You will you do other games more. today? Oh, absolutely I will. Like I was saying before in the intro that nobody watched, I got about... Freaking, I don't know, 25, 30 Dreamcast games? I'm not gonna do all of them, but... Uh, which games are up to you? Because this is the Retro Request Party thing. I'm not playing any more Rippin' Riders. That was freaking terrible. Uh, hold on here. Yeah, we got, uh... All kinds of great stuff in here. Holy crap. I know you're not, like, super familiar with the Dreamcast library, so maybe I'll just have to give you some options here. We got, uh, of course, Sonic Adventure, which we've seen it to death. Uh, Power Stone 2. Oh, I had Dead or Alive 2 working for, like, ten minutes. Uh, Sonic Shuffle. Fairly unknown game. Uh, Dynamite Cop. Very over-the-top arcade type of third-person shooter. Sonic Adventure 2, because why not? Dead or Alive 2, which I wouldn't recommend. 
Uh, Rush 2049. I don't remember if anyone remembers playing this in the arcades. Another one of those racers with a timer. That's a demo disc. Soul Calibur. I'm trying to stay away from some of the games I play all the time, like Crazy Taxi. Coaster Works, which is kind of like Roller Coaster Tycoon, except you only make the roller coasters and ride them. And it's kind of weird. Uh, what's this game? Power Stone. Oh, I love Power Stone. And Power Stone 2. It's a uh, custom. I know only 20% of the games. Well, that's that's fine. I only have 20% of the games. Don't know if you've heard of Expendable. It's actually a pretty interesting game. Almost like a top-down Contra. Fighting Force 2. This game is awful. I'm not even kidding. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, the original. Yes, I made an original. I have, a, I have the Toy Story 2 game, apparently. I mean, honestly don't even remember this. Fighting, oh, you got to be kidding me. Fighting, do you even know what that is? Even I don't know what it is. It's not Fighting Force, it's Fighting Force 2. It's its very terrible sequel. I don't even know what the first one was. I'll put that in the maybe pile. Uh, NFL Blitz 2001. I played one of those. See, it's called Fighting Force, but it's more like a, I don't know, like military tactical game, except you, the controls are terrible. Slave Zero, another game that was pretty decent, but the controls are kind of wonky. Stupid Invaders. This game kind of blows. I thought I had more games than this. Oh, Hydro Thunder. That's a pretty good game. Put that in the maybe pile. Ooh, Expendable might do. Power Stone 2. Good game if you can find it. Uh, Soul Calibur. Oh, he said that. Choose this game to Sega is great. Oh, then I would have just played Sonic Adventure a million times. Ah, Jet Grind Radio. Freaking Jet Grind Radio. That's a maybe. Virtual on, kind of wonky controls. MDK2, I think I've played it before, but wouldn't mind taking it again. Oops, I know I had more Dreamcast games. Slip Zero. You can tell I really got prepared for this. How many copies of Sonic Adventure do I have? Oh, I forgot I had Virtual Fighter 3. That's a pretty good game. I got a Genesis cartridge in here, that's just bad organization. Crazy Taxi 2. Oh, well, here's what I was looking for, Bingayo. This is actually a very hard game to find. If I remember correctly, it actually doesn't suck. Test Gauntlet. I freaking love Gauntlet. Love Gauntlet Legends. Again, I'm not saying I'm going to play all these. But I will play some Fighting Force 2, unfortunately, because you want it. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And Confidential Mission. Just to name a few dozen. Play Fighting Force 2. I wonder if I'll make it past the first five minutes this time. Just for the record, not all these games are made by Sega. A lot of these are third party. I think I did put that over there. Let's see. I'll tell you, Rippin' Riders was nothing special. Alrighty. Ooh, we got a second viewer. Welcome, my second viewer, to the party. Time to scare them away with Fighting Force 2. I don't even know what this game is about. The back of the game makes it actually look pretty good, but... <laughs> using a stunning 3D game engine. Yeah, not if you saw the game. Which we are about to do. Fun. I don't even know if I have a save file on this. Well, this was made by... I don't know how to pronounce it. Eidos? Eidos? The ones who made the original Tomb Raiders? Except the original Tomb Raiders were good. This is not. So you might have played it on a PS1 if you played the first one. I don't even know. I guess that would have to be a first one if there's a second one. I just didn't think it was all that great a game, but maybe I didn't give it enough of a chance. Fighting Force 2. Figures. This would be like the one time I play it. It is funny watching old loading screens of games. This might be the best part of the game right here. All right. Yeah, I'm skipping that. It's the future, and the world is controlled by the 
Gotta say, graphics actually aren't bad for a 1999 game. So don't know why this guy's trying to sound like Jack Bauer combined with Batman. Psychops has targeted the Nakamichi Corporation. These boys just stepped over the line. Their crime: illegal bioweapon program, genetic weaponry based on human. Got enough on Nakamichi to justify a raid. Just let me know if you want to skip this at any time because I'm not invested in the story at all. Hawk Manson. Like other agents, I'm packing the usual body enhancements and enough firepower to take out a city. Anything to give me the edge. Alright. It's an invisible We're gonna see it then. Psychops directive is my kind of ride. It's too bad too, because that intro really made the game look pretty good. Till you play the game. Wow, that was some good combat. I think I remembered my problem with this game is half the time I don't know where to go. So I was never given any controls. That's wonderful. I don't know if I'm supposed to interact with this keypad. Okay, now I something's coming. Turning is very awkward. That's punch, kick. Jump is X. That's weird. Okay. Am I supposed to jump on a train or something? That's like an impossible jump to time. I can't even get over there. Okay. For some reason, zero dollars showed up. Guess I collect money. For some reason, you take out the knife and he goes slower when he has the knife. Like, is the knife that heavy? Okay. Why am I clutching onto a box I could have easily jumped onto? Do I have a gun or something? Am I supposed to do something with the freaking train? Oh my god. Okay, I must have to go in this door somehow. Oh, it just opens. The door just opens. All right, time to fight some more stupid people. Oh, wow, this is freaking facing him. I literally just jumped around that box and it broke. So the door's just open, I guess. Okay, oh, no, that's where I just was. Okay, I see another person. Go ahead and yeah, yeah, take that. Oh yeah, well, this is some good fighting. Okay, what is the point of the boxes? Why do I even have this game? Like, I think I just bought a bunch of games on eBay, like a bunch of Dreamcast games, and this was one of them. 
I have twenty dollars somehow. I guess it was in the box. That's do not enter. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Freaking, where's my freaking punch button? Oh, did he just shoot one of his own guys, or is he on my side? Somebody just got shot. Oh, it's that guy up there. Shooting people. Alright, just you wait. I'm coming for you. This guy looks like freaking Magneto. Oh my god. Are you dead yet? Is he on my side? I don't even know. He's not shooting me. Oh, this is terrible. He doesn't even fight you. He just stands there. What, does he shoot like one missile and that's it? So basically I just go through all these rooms that look the same and just beat up like one or two people. Oh my god, I can't freaking turn. Why? And, and just by the way, this game got terrible reviews. I can't freaking do anything. Oh, this is so much fun, I can't even stand it. I think you played a good game. Either that or they just didn't do anything with the second game because this is garbage. Oh crap, this is a boss? I don't even know. The AI is terrible. How about a nice game? Oh, thank God. I cannot do this. This is just, this is so awful. I, I cannot. All right. What's your poison? Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, or Sonic Shuffle, which is a completely different type of game altogether? Let's see here. No idea. Well, do you like Mario Party? Because Sonic Shuffle is pretty much Mario Party for Sonic. Let's see. Depending on which one we do, I'll have to change memory cards. That should be my Sonic Adventure is on that memory card. Bam. Oh my god, I can't even. Oh, I didn't surprise I didn't take that out already. Alone that's boring though, I guess. Yeah, you're not wrong. Sonic Shuffle takes a long time depending on the settings you use. Yeah, you know what? I'll do Sonic Adventure 2 since I usually do um I usually do the first game, but I'll do Sonic Adventure 2. This nice box art. It's technically one of the last games to come out for Dreamcast. And it's actually got a story. Well, I mean, they both have a story, but... I think Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 actually had pretty good stories for Sonic games. Alright, still got two viewers. Picked up a follower last night. So I've got nine of those now. Of course, this is the game that introduced Shadow the Hedgehog. Sonic's so-called edgy alter ego. File select. Story All right. select. So what's your uh, what's your preference? Good guys or bad guys? What do I do the final story? I'll wait. Gotta make sure my audio is okay because I know this game is kind of loud. long enough to just pick one for me. Oh, 
Also, I love the music in this game, by the way. Not surprising. No one's picking anything, so I'm gonna go dark. I always enjoyed the uh, dark story, anyway. It's pretty much the last game where Botnik was any good. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Security breach at gate three. Intruder has been located in the north quadrant and is moving in the direction of the underground base. All units prepare to engage. Emergency battle formations. Standard battle procedures initiated. Locate and stop the intruder from entering the security area. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. So as you just saw, first level he plays Dr. Robotnik, breaking into the military base. Pretty simple shooting level. Intruder alert. Assume level one defense formation. Yo. Yo. Now, unlike Sonic and a lot of the other characters, technically Robotnik doesn't need rings. He has a health bar. You can collect level rings as him, but you don't range. die unless you lose all your health formation. or you fall off the level. This being the first level, though, that should be a problem. Basically, this is just a shooting gallery. The botnik's levels don't really get hard until later in the game. Of course, the goal is to shoot as many enemies as possible to get combos, and higher ranks, and all that stuff. level like that spring way off in the distance. about this game. It actually came out in celebration of Sonic's 10th anniversary, which would have been June 23rd, 2001. I want to say it was right around that date. The Dreamcast had already been, like, technically discontinued. This was one of the last games Sega was working on for it. And still in my top 10 of Sonic games. Might even be top 5. I always just love the story and the atmosphere of this game. I might do a little bit of the dark story and then show off some of the Sonic levels and the level select, because... Crazy Gadget and uh, Final Rush are two of the best 3D Sonic levels I've ever played. Really, I like all the characters. Like, a lot of people don't like how many different kinds of gameplay styles there are in this game, but I don't know, I, I like the variety of it. And I like that it kind of goes with the story. It's had a very good flow to this game. Sonic Force has tried to do something similar, but it just didn't do it for me. That game's also ridiculously short. This game's longer, and it came out, like, 17 years before that. But I digress. Come 
on a rank. Yes. Now you know why I am the best. And of course, you could tell how humble Robotnik is. So now we're gonna meet Shadow the Hedgehog. I mean, no, we're not, because I'm not gonna spoil the plot. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. By the way, that's the seventh Chaos Emerald, which is generally the last emerald you collect in Sonic games. Never really explained how he has it, though. I still don't get how people mistake him as Sonic. I mean, I, I get it maybe from a distance, but he looks nothing like Sonic other than being a hedgehog. My name is Shadow. Since you were so kind to release me, my master, I will grant you one wish. Now what? Behold the true power I possess. Game. Uh, that brought back memories because that was like the first thing I played when I got this game. I always wanted to play the dark story, so that was like this is the first time I played the game watching that cutscene again. Brings me back to 2001, so even though I'm Now we got a boss fight of Shadow. Shadow is he has these kind of like rocket skates you can float around on. Mistake again. Oh, shoots like eight missiles. This is Scorpion Troops hotshot. The enemy is stronger than expected. Request I keep forgetting I have a light speed attack. I never use that thing. I'll try it. Oh, no, I guess I can't. <laughs> I didn't think I could. That'd be pretty cheap on a boss. These fights are so much easier. Sonic is a higher jump. Bringing on the world's slowest homing missiles. He is too strong. I think Dex fell asleep. Oh, you were up pretty late last night. <laughs> Pathetic humans. Destroying that guard robot was spectacular. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central yes, control the, the lip syncing room is terrible the space in this game. colony arc. Arc. Hey, Ark. Alright, 
So now it's going to skip over to another perspective of the story. Obviously, you know Knuckles, but Rouge is a little lesser-known villain. Specifically, meant to combat Knuckles. She has like the same abilities. Basically, being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. Look, the way Robotnik just flies off there, scratching his head. He's like, well, that's a shame. Look at that lovely picture of a pyramid they pasted in the background. Yeah, we'll see about that. I never understood that cutscene. It looks like they're going to fight, but they don't. It just goes to another level. So, Rouge's levels are basically treasure hunts. You have to find three pieces of the Master Emerald in every level she's in. Same with Knuckles. And there's going to be a radar that'll tell us where they are. Wow, I'm actually really close to one to start. Their locations are pretty random. They can be in the robots. They can be buried in the ground. These levels can take anywhere from a few minutes to way too long. Gotta be close. Oh, is it in the... Oh, no, I saw it. It's on the statue's head. Only two more. That's kind of lucky, because the faster you find them, the better time score you get. Which is how you get an A-rank on her level. My least favorite level of her is a security hall, though, because you have, like, a ten-minute time limit to find three Chaos Emeralds, and they're usually not close to each other. Monument of the Sun. There's also another area to this level, so if it's not here, it could be there. So that's a fairly obvious statement. A high place. Okay, well, it's probably not in this area then, because I'm as high as I can go in here. Oh, the turtle, that's right. I gotta... Yeah, I know, I said the turtle, like that meant anything. I gotta get the turtle into the water, and then I can ride the turtle to the other area of the level. Which, yep, it's in this area, because the radar is going off. It's probably at the top of this tower. There it is! I must have played this game like a million times, so there's only so many places they can hide him on me. Wow. That was the most useless pair of speed shoes ever. What's her name? Oh, Rouge. Rouge the Bat. I don't think she actually says her name in the beginning. Oh, there it is. It's gotta be close. She is, um, believe it or not, the topic of a lot of deviant art. I'm just gonna leave it at that. She's only in like a few games, but yeah, the character's not very thought out. How is that? Perfect? Like me? And she talks like a muppet. I mean, I can stop playing this game at any time. I'm just kind of showing off some of the beginning. I only know Sonic, Tails, Robotnik. Uh, yeah. Well, you probably know Knuckles. Amy Rose. Uh, that's probably it, to be honest. But to be fair, they add, like, a new character in almost every game, so it gets kind of ridiculous. If you only know those characters, you'll be fine for the Sonic movie. I don't even think Tails is in it. Well, knowing Sega, they probably made up some characters for that movie. 
Yeah, see, I told you Knuckles counts. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles were like, you know, OG. I always love Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. And yes, they are in this game. But I am playing the dark story, so we don't see too much of them. Second viewer to the Chaos Blur Episode 6 Retro Request Party. I really need to make these intros less wordy. Those gold beetles show up only once a level. They're worth a thousand points if you can get them. They disappear really quick. Ah, we lost our viewer. I guess, I guess my wordy intro scared them many words. There's a lot of shortcuts in this level, but it's mostly for the extra missions. You can beat this game fairly quick, but then there's a lot of extra missions and stuff to do, so it's a pretty long game, I'd say. Also, the second game to use the Chow Garden, really the last one to do it effectively. Oh god, ah, I knew they were coming to That's what the colorful things are for. You can give them to Chow to power them up. That's a whole other side mechanic that doesn't really come into play here. Well, you need it if you want all 180 emblems, and that's a whole other thing. Hey, two viewers again. All right. Welcome, second viewer, to this. I'm going to keep it simple from now on. All questions can wait until the end of the stream. No refunds. lost my viewer again. Yosh. At least they watched for a little bit. And at the end of the day, isn't that all I can really ask for? Yes! Now Three straight A ranks. Alright, I'll do a shadow level and then I'll probably show off some Sonic levels unless you want to watch me play something else. I know, what a, what a great honor to watch me play some really old video games. With the chaos Space Colony Ark. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. Pretty sure he scratches his butt in the scene. I'm not even kidding. An important news yep. Right there. There has been a break-in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously. The only thing that was chaos stolen was emerald? the Chaos Emerald. According How to do they think that's the Sonic? Scene, the suspect was that's so clearly not Sonic. Hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, I the get they needed the plot line that he's framed, but I mean, Shadow looks nothing like Sonic at all. Stay tuned for more like the work of Shadow. Yeah, even Robotnik figured it out. Granted, he has like a 300 IQ, but you don't have to be that smart to figure out that that's not Sonic. I do love uh, I love Shadow's theme song. Please Maria. do it for me, for all the people on the planet. Sayonara, Shadow the Hedgehog. I still remember what I promised you. The people on this planet, I promise you. 
revenge. I love that. For the people on this planet, I promise you, revenge. Right to the besieging military. Besieging, that's a big word for a, let's, a, let's face it, a kid's game. At least a younger person's game. possible to hit the planes, but you'd be really good about it. Damn, I thought I hit him. City had a loop to loop like that, but like, that would be so impractical. So I don't ask these questions because I don't Fudge, 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 fudge. Oh, I forgot it. That doesn't actually kill you there. Why? I don't know. I really should. That, that would have killed me if I missed that. I ended up taking the slow way. So lightning fast on that, by the way. Also, Knights in the Dreams reference way in the background there with uh, the purple knight's head spinning like that. This is basically like a darker version of Speed Highway from Sonic Adventure. Now that I think about it. Of course, they have their sponsorship with Soap Shoes, which is why there's so many ads for Soap Shoes in this game. Instead of continuing with the dark story, I'm going to go ahead and play a couple Sonic levels real quick. Some pun intended. Hey, there's Sonic now. So I'm going to skip that cutscene and go back to the main game. Or the level select, I should say. Unless you wanted to see a different game, because like I said, I've got about two bazillion of them. I'm not playing Egg Quarters. At least not right now. i got to skip to Rouge talking again, don't I? Yep. This is Rouge. I have located Eggman's base and will proceed to enter it yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I hate to say I guess it. I'm gonna have to find those keys. I guess I'm going to have to find that key first. All right. Do a little crazy gadget. Stage select. I do enjoy Crazy Gadget. Hopefully we're having fun here. I know it's just Bex and I. Not that that's a bad thing, but... 
doing it up. Just by the way, another reference to the first Sonic Adventure game of those robots called Artificial Chaos, based on, of course, Chaos Zero from the first game. Thought that was kind of a neat little reference there. Basically, this military organization in the game, Gun, seems to like to tempt fate by recreating dangerous things. There's actually a lot of references to past Sonic games in this level. The tubes, kind of like the old Chemical Plant tubes. Is Sonic a mutant and alien? And that is a very valid question. And even Sega hasn't really addressed that. You could say in the original games he was an alien because he came from the planet Mobius, but then again, what was Robotnik doing there because he's human? In this game, they're technically on Earth, so again, Sonic and his friends are the only ones who look out of place, everybody else is human. That's a very good question. I have a feeling the movie's going to address that in some form. At best, he basically comes from another dimension, so I guess you could say he's an alien in that regard. Where Sonic defines himself at the end of this game, he's just a guy who likes adventure. I'm not kidding, that's what he says. He says it's like so, like matter of factly. Like that's a unique fact. Just a guy who likes adventure. It's scary for the movie Alien, yeah, not really. But I'll tell you what was scary was the original model of Sonic for the movie, where he had the really glaring teeth and strange eyeballs. I just, I always love this level. This level's really fun once you know how to play it. For several times through this, I had to kind of memorize the layout, but just a lot of really cool moments in this level. Love the way they play with gravity. It's kind of the basis of it, especially at the end of the level. You know, a lot of people say that, that they purposely, like, made a bad trailer and then, like, did this whole goodwill thing to improve it, because it does seem like anybody anybody with common sense would have made that first Sonic model, at least to start. And I don't even think that model's perfect, by the way, but it's a hell of a lot better than what they started with. So, I mean, I think that they had that ready, because there's no way they could have just fixed the movie as fast as they did to that new model from the old one, assuming the old movie was already filmed with that old model, they would have had to, like, re-edit, like, all that video. I, guess, I mean, maybe it doesn't take as long, they're not using a Lenovo laptop, but still, I don't think they could have just turned it around that fast. So I do think there's some truth to that. But still, that's such a bad publicity move, even for Sega, like, oh, let's make this look really bad on purpose. I mean, sometimes Sega likes to poke fun at themselves, but that was really stupid. As you can tell now, I'm walking sideways. There are actually three or four different ways to get through this section. I almost always do this way, though. Regardless of the model, though, my issue has always been with the plot, so I'm gonna kinda, you know, hope it has a good plot, but, you know, I just, I'm glad to see Jim Carrey doing Robotnik's Injustice in movie form. I also hope the people making the movie know something about the games, which it looks like they do based on some of the references I've seen already in the trailers. It's good to see. I mean, I don't need it to be exactly like the games, but I'm glad that they're referencing some things like Green Hill Zone and even just other little Easter eggs you can see in the background of things. You would think that'd be a given, but with Sega, you never know. 
Yes, I bash Sega now. I loved them long, long time ago, but they really have not been the same the past five or ten years or so. If I'm being completely honest. Uh, it's actually one of my better times on this level. I just kind of breeze through that. So obviously the Sonic levels are like the best part of this game. Everybody agrees on that. That's played this game. I like the other characters, but... Too easy. Piece of cake. I wouldn't say it was too easy, but... A lot easier than it was when I was 11 years old playing that. Stage select. Do final rush before I switch games. So many, so many great games I could play. Whatever shall I do? Not a bad problem to have, though. Virtual Fighter, Hydra Thunder, Gauntlet Legends. I'm just looking over my options here. This is my favorite level in the game, though. I always love space levels. And the music is just excellent here. And there's some insane shortcuts you can take. I mean, this is such an elaborate level. Sega has not made anything like this in a long time. could wait, jump all the way down there, but instead I think I'm going to go ahead and go for this rail way down on the bottom. Come on! Ah, it, feels, it feels really good when you nail that. But I digress. Something about this level just flows very well. That has not always been the case in modern 3D Sonic games. Bounce bracelet helps a lot here. I'm glad they gave him that ability. That's the other thing is they give Sonic like these other moves that are actually pretty cool. They never revisit them. Like almost every game, Sonic has different attacks. I would love to see a Sonic Adventure 3 so bad. I know they won't do it. Even if they did it, it would be a shadow of these games, some pun intended. Ah, couldn't quite get that. Good time at this level, too. A little shortcut here. Oh, the Mystic Melody's over here? I even I forgot about that. Say that should have made some rings. There we go. And another extra life. Actually playing well for once. It's nice to see. See, I almost missed that really easy jump.
I'm nailing this. I'm almost at the end of the level. Holy crap, if I was doing the time trial, I actually would have made it. I think the time limit is five minutes on this. I almost never do that. Yep, I beat it in under five minutes. Holy crap. Wow. And I got it recorded. Nah, that doesn't mean I'm going to get an A rank, because I didn't really hit a lot of the tricks, but let's see. Nope. I think I need a 15,000 for the A rank. Alright, well, as much as I enjoy Sonic Adventure 2, I'm sure there are other things I could explore. Let's see what we got here. I don't know what anybody's preferences are. By anybody, I mean Bex, because it's all I got right now. But, uh, let's see, I can play some Expendable. I think I got Bangayo still here. Gauntlet Legends, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, well, first Sonic Adventure. Oh, there's Bangayo. I was wondering where this game went. Maybe I'll do some Bangayo. I don't even remember what the hell Bangayo is. Let me see. If you have any other requests or whatnot. I do enjoy Expendable. I literally could have said just about anything. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> Play Expendable. Whatever that is. Uh, I gotta make sure I have the right memory card. I don't think I do. Let's see. No, that's right. This is freaking... This entire memory card is taken up with Sonic Adventure 2. I think I need... Not that one. I'm pretty sure it is this one. Yes, yeah, pretty much all my games are on here, apparently. This doesn't really matter. But still, I thought I had expendable save data somewhere. Oh, there's Ben Gaio. It's on that one. Do I have? I got no memory free on this one. Uh, what's the other one? Power Stone 2 and NFL 2K? Well, then it's got to be on the red one. Yeah, I got a lot of memory cards. Expendable, there we go. Why do I have a Shenmue file? I don't even have Shenmue. I love Expendable. This was, I believe this was a release title. It's just a fun arcade type of shooter game. It's actually what Contra Road Course should have been if they wanted to try a 3D Contra. Well, it's not fully 3D, it's like top-down 3D. Still, it's a super fun game. I like how I could have just said about it. I could have said any game, and Bex would have been like, play that. I'll be like, oh, let's see, I got uh, Banana Leaf. I've got... Uh, Piece of garbage. You should be like, play banana leaf. Rage. Should have gotten Tony Hawk. I'm open to other games, like as far as in the future, if there's any games you want to see. If I don't have them, I can find a way to get them. I always say that, but you know, I, I aim to please. Really hard game, though. Oh, that's right. Technically, the name of this game is Millennium Soldier. Yeah, I'm not going to load the game. I'll just do a new game. Uh, I'll do normal. I'm not great at this game, but I'm not terrible. I don't think I ever made, make it past level 3, though. Yeah, so technically this game is called Millennium Soldier, but it says Expendable in bigger letters, so it's always called Expendable. can play this with friends. It's just, it's just a fun game. Oh, that looked painful. <laughs> that just killed me instantly. I don't know why I don't remember that. The only weird thing about this game is you can't jump. So stuff like that, you just have to kind of work around. 
It is super easy to die in this game. That's why they give you like seven continues. Just a fun, mindless, top down sort of shoot game. Mind, this is only the first level. We get more insane after this. That's health, I need that. Yeah, you get different kinds of weapons. What I liked about Dreamcast games is that they like, had a certain modernness to them, but also kind of just retro, even though it was retro at the time. Oh, well, I'd rather it wouldn't be retro at the time, this would be new games. to get up there to shoot him. I found a secret. Oh, those homing missiles? That's helpful. Is it a perfect game? No, but it's still better than freaking Contra Road Core that just came out, like, last year. Like a 3D bro force. Probably would be more fun with two people because I was gonna butt kick with just me playing it. Wow, I just got like stomped on by an alien. Alright, how's that for a fun day in the office? Game over? Okay, so we got five more continues. What the hell? I can't tell if I was caught in that or not. Hey. Whoa. Okay, this is the boss level. For some reason they time you on these. Got that last gun turret. This would be a hell of a lot easier. Wouldn't it? Whoa. 
or not. Apparently the freaking thing itself has its own laser and another health bar. This sucks. I was close to the end of this. Keep in mind this is only level one. Say expendable, they mean it. Everything dies in this game. I'm getting close to killing it. Got it. Follow arrow, like the instructions. That giant glowing arrow there. Alright, one level down. I actually don't know how many levels are in this game. Uh, so, what do you all think about um, Expendable so far? It's something. <laughs> ah, if you don't like it, I don't have to keep playing it. I'm just kind of going through the motions here. Now, sometimes I just need a game like this, you know? You just kind of mindlessly blow up everything. I have to leave now. Help me my help with Twitch. Oh, who don't you help with Twitch? Alrighty, well, no problem. Thanks for watching. Might do a little bit more, and then maybe I'll check out Hump Stream. So thank you for uh, checking it out, and I will see you soon. Live from uh, Connecticut, Chaos Blur. in this game is usually just to keep shooting stuff until everything's shot. I digress. It's not exactly the pinnacle of level design, that's for sure. Now, tell your friends, Chaos Blur, Retro Request Party, and other stuff. I can quite a bit of stuff, actually. I've been streaming a lot the last month or so. I'll keep that going. We got two viewers. Ah, oh, they're never dead. I should right as they say that. We got two viewers. It's a Millennium Soldier on Second Dreamcast. Yellow pass required. Well, you know, could have just told me that instead of killing me instantly. Well, it did tell me that, but then it killed me instantly. Yes, uh, no, I thought I saw something glowing yellow. So how do I get through that then? I need the yellow pass. I don't think I make these things so complicated. I say it, yes, but it's really not that like, complicated at all. Oh, there it is. Again, would have been really nice if I could have just not gotten shot dead there. You know, I kick like that. Again, if you ever look up just a mindless game, it's pretty easy to pick up. I think it's only like a few, bu a few bucks to find it. It's expendable, Millennium Soldier. Really good arcade action. Again, probably more fun if I had uh, you know, other people playing it. A little co-op action. Oh, we're back down to one view with what expects to off. So, whoever is still with me here, thanks for watching. I'm going to do a few more games before I call it a day, unless I get more requests. But I do enjoy me some Dreamcast action. That is not a secret. And like I said, if you have a request for any Dreamcast games, just let me know. I might have them. I might not. 
Are we good? Are they good for us? I don't know if anybody has played uh, Contra Rogue Core totally off the game, honestly. Back to destroy all those green things before the door will open. It's mindless action, and now we got no viewers. Oh, the fuck. Let's do a couple more games in that case. It's not going to keep playing for no audience. That's pretty much what I do on the YouTube channel. Flamethrower. That's never overkill. I think this is my favorite weapon, this little triple fire thingy. If I digress. Actually, if you go to Dolphin game on Dreamcast, but I didn't even like the one on Genesis, so I don't think you can get that. There are really very few Dreamcast games I don't have that I actually want. And the ones that I want are like super expensive that can't be found anymore. Dreamcast had some really good games towards the very end of its run. This was, I think, the release title. Damn it. I know there's like an option, uh, probably I should have read the controls, there's an option to just do like a big bomb or something, like you have like a special attack you can use like once in a level to kind of get, you out, yeah, get yourself out of trouble. Okay. Wow, I love that. That's okay, yep, don't go with lasers are, because that will hurt. every button on the controller and none of them are, uh, you know, making a giant bomb or something drop to save me, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that's not a thing I can do. So I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm go ahead and attempt level 3, assuming I do level 2, which is not a given by any means. So no one's really watching, just for my own self-satisfaction. Wow, I got beat up bad. Gotta be running out of continues at this point. Oh, I cannot get past this part. Oh my god. Fun I am maybe ever. Wow, I just got stomped in the face. Like, this guy's got the gun, but he doesn't even really need to shoot it. to do this without those things in my way. Jeez. Get intense, yo. Must have to destroy one more. Maybe. Maybe yep, way the heck over here. One to go. How many of these things are there? I mean, one to go. Oh, 
It's so weird how it changes camera angle like that. Ow, 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 ow. Death a lot. Yeah, that triple fire one's probably the most effective weapon. I was gonna say, that was very clearly a bomb. level's been exploding the entire game. What was the bomb unarmed? And the oxygen ignites in this game. I don't know what that thing is. If that's the bomb, I hit to see the other stuff. Uh, I can't skip this currently. Yeah, I'll probably switch games after this level. I did not mean to spend so much time on Expendable. As fun as it may be. It's decent. I just don't know if I remember this part. I don't play this game that often. That looks like a bomb. I gotta lie, that was kinda cool. I mean, as far as 1990s explosions go, that was pretty cool. I guess that's the end of the level. Alright, you blow up all the civilization, end of level one. Oh, no, that was actually level two. Cool. So, this is as far as I've ever made it in this game, and that's not gonna change anytime soon. I think we're just going to do a couple more games before calling it a stream here, unless we get more viewers soon. I'm um, not going to continue this right now, but I did have a lot of fun playing it. So instead, I will switch out of this, and I will play, and I probably a reason I don't play this one often either. I'm going to play some Bangayo. This is actually a very hard game to find. Not really cheap either, which, again, I don't know what to really make of that. Uh, yeah. If anybody shows up in the next 10, 20 minutes or so, good for them. I'll be very happy to stream whatever, because this is a retro request party here live at the site, Chaos Blur Headquarters, whatever you want to call this. I am, of course, a huge Sega fan. Love my Sega Dreamcast. Playing it yet again here. This will probably be, you know, the last specialized retro request weekend. This game doesn't support the AV cable that is currently connected to the main console. To oh, that is really funny. I mean, not funny, because now I can't play it, but... It's funny that it actually recognizes that I'm using an HDMI cable and not a AV cable. So that's not going to happen. No Bangayo for you. Which I'm sure you guys are all dying to see some Bangayo. I say facetiously. So that gives us time for a different game, I guess. So in lieu of Bangayo, I will play Gauntlet Legends. I actually did kind of have that prepared just in case something like that happened. This is a really fun game. Again, don't know how much of this I'm going to play, but at least enough to kind of demo it. Gauntlet Legends, of course, a fun arcade game that, um, oh yeah, you'll see it for yourself. This also came out on N64 and PS1, but of course I'm going to be partial to the Dreamcast version, because it has better graphics, closer to the arcade style. Which to me still appeals to me, I wish that they made games, I wish they ported arcade games, like newer arcade games, to consoles. I know occasionally they do, but, yeah. In fact, the last game I'm going to play after this one will also be another arcade port. And a very excellent one, if I say so myself, if I can find a stinking disc. VMU has adequate storage space. Continue on your quest. 
Can you imagine that? Like in a, because this is kind of like a medieval type of game. And it's going to be like, oh, I love this game. It's like, you are ready for your quest. You have adequate memory on your memory card. Let's do it. Enter initials to build a so yeah, let's do a new game. Just since I'm doing this really quick. Oh, this would be an excellent game to get four players on. Select a character. Welcome, Red Wizard. Ah, this is a great game. I know I've said that like eight times, but this is just, I don't know. It's simple fun as I drop all my game discs, but it's fun. You can only enter. I mean, I actually haven't even made it that far in this game. Here we go. Again, this game's a blast to play with people. I remember back in when my mall had an arcade in it. This was one of the games I played. This was like the first time I really encountered it. And it, you are now yeah, it's just it's just fun. The Valley of Fire. But it's even more fun with friends all going around trying to shoot all the monsters as they come out of you. Another kind of top-down action game. One second here. No, I'm not exactly doing the best here with this, but... Don't say. That was a way to shoot like magic as him. Okay, yeah, there's all these like power ups you can get to kind of plow through the enemies a little easier. Maybe I picked the wrong character. There's one character that does a lot more like long range stuff, which is kind of more needed here. That is probably a secret. See, in the arcade, every time you died, you'd have to like put in a quarter to keep going. So I'm, I don't know how much money I went through that day when I was playing with a few friends at an arcade. But we got pretty far in the game. Okay, I'm getting like hacked and slashed by this guy behind me. I gotta destroy that generator. I'm missing something here in terms of like I could swear he had a melee but there it is okay Multiple hits destroy secret walls. okay there we go that that'll make this a little more tolerable I mean the, the short range stuff's still cool but Avoid yeah no kidding that's a good life advice okay when you get, when you get cornered that's when it actually is pretty helpful to have a friend along for the ride yeah, it's a fun game. The downside is they're like so much faster than I am at like they just generate so quickly. Here we go. Now we got a little more. How do I open this? Or do I need I need the key? But I have a key, I thought. Oh, there it is. Collect gold to buy power. Alrighty. Low on health here. By the time I'm this close to them, there's no point in me using my long range. So I'll just start beating them senseless here. Some barrels contain oh, I desperately needed that. I don't know who's shooting the bombs, but that's got to stop. Red Wizard has gained a level. Mmm. Mmm, 
food. Me like food. That was completely useless opening that gate, although it did open the goal, but I think he just opened the goal by defeating all the enemies. Oh, there's more friends of mine. I should probably just go to the goal at this point, because, yeah, there's more. I got more friends coming. And I'm not in the mood. I already gave it the office. Oh, wait a minute. I guess that isn't the end of the level. I guess that just gives me the ability to rapid fire, which is also much needed. Watch out. Out of my way, you monsters. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Ow. Ow. Oh, these things are still here? I thought I got rid of their precious generator. Okay. So I got a key. Phoenix familiar. I don't know what that does, but okay. It's like all these gimmicks you can get in here. Most of them are pretty cool. Some of them I'm not really clear on. Okay, that's the end of the level. Probably where it says exit, that kind of gives it away. Alright, cool. I can buy keys, I can buy rapid fire. Buy some rapid fire. I'll do a couple more levels, then I'll switch to the last game, because I don't see me getting too many more viewers here. It's basically just been Bex the whole time, but I do enjoy Bex. She's a good friend of mine, and well, I appreciate her support, as always. Let's take this level on here. You are now entering Dagger, dagger Peak. Who's been peeking at my daggers? Peak. Oh, that's fun. I like the way the um, shots kind of ricochet off the mountain. Destroy this so that these guys won't be a thorn in my side for a little bit. Ooh, ribs! Yummy! Say I went the wrong way. Whoa, those are rocks. Sure that's what he just said there. Whoa, okay, I'm a giant now. Ah, oh, I hate the Reaper. I don't know how to how do I use magic? Suicide bomber guy.
Don't know what that does. Oh, that's how I do magic. All right. Or actually, I don't know how I did that, or even what I did. I need some help here. This game's a lot better with people, because I am freaking trapped. If I get to the freaking enemy generator without getting annihilated, that'd be great. Oh my god, I'm getting I'm just smacked around here. Just destroy the generators, I'm not even destroying the enemies. Now I'm destroying the enemies. This blast is making me slow as heck, though. Alright, I'm probably just gonna call it. I'll do one more game after this. Buy power-ups. Yeah, why not? Again, I'm not going to do more of this just yet. What I'm interested in, though, just got to dig it out real quick. What I'm interested in is doing a little Hydro Thunder before I call it a night. Afternoon, whatever. Listen to the soothing music while I round up that game disc. Let's go to Fighter 3. Is this it? Yeah, here we go. Hydro Thunder. Always a fun one. Alright, cool. So, nothing else. I leave you guys with this. We're going to play some Hydro Thunder, made by Midway, the makers of such great arcade classics as Mortal Kombat. Um, well, Hydro Thunder, and probably some other ones that I'm not thinking about right now. Chances are you've played a Hydro Thunder game at some point in your life. It's usually the game that has, like, the jet ski um, arcade cabinet. You know, one of those timed racing games. Obviously takes place in the water. Really fun one. And, yeah. You can tell I have an affinity for 90s arcade games. If I had more time or more viewers, the system doesn't support the AV cable. You've got to be kidding me. What are the chances that, like, this many of the games I wanted to do are not compatible with the AV cable? Or the HDMI? Alright, let's do a different game then. Just to close it out. MDK2, no. Definitely not Fighting Force again. Confidential Mission, no. Well, that's another pretty decent arcade shooter. Just bear with me here for a second. And we'll find another game. Virtual Tennis, Virtual On, Stupid Invaders, MVC, Slave Zero, Sonic Shuffle, uh, no, nope, no, some of these games I've done to death, Rush 2049 I could do, it's conceivable, NFL Blitz, 2001, it's another Midway game, I wonder, hmm, well you know what, in honor of it being, what is it, Championship Sunday today, for the NFL, the NFC and AFC title games. Maybe I'll do a quick NFL blitz just to close things out. That's kind of funny. I mean, not funny, because I actually did want to play some Hydro Thunder, but just the, the chances that two of my games are going to have this same exact problem. So I'm not even worried about saving my game data here. Because I'm just going to play like a quick game of NFL Blitz. For those of you who don't know, NFL Blitz is basically just an NFL game, but with like really over-the-top, like... Violent action, insane rules. So I'll do like a quick one. I don't even know who the teams are going to be. Maybe I'll do uh, I'll, I'll do like a fake simulation of one of the title games today. I'll do 49ers and Packers or something. I don't know. I'm just brainstorming here because I'm getting ready to wrap things up here. Episode 6 of Retro Request Party. Not, you know, super successful today. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, we had Vex along for the ride for a little bit. Played a few games that... I liked, and then a few that I really didn't like, although that was just all fighting for us. That's my bad. I am not going to worry about saving my data here. I'm just going to play the game.
NFL Blitz. Just to load the option screen, that's kind of funny. We'll do four minute quarters. Anyone happens to watch this, uh, they might have some fun. Heck, I'm even kind of looking forward to this. So arcade mode, I think this lets me play like one game, which is all I want to do. It doesn't really matter what player I am. Why would I be player? Oh, I see. Team one versus team two. I still don't know what game, what, what team I'm playing as. Okay, here we go. So I will be, I'll be the 49ers. So I'm going to be playing the uh, Packers today in the title game. Uh, I guess I don't get to pick who I play. I mean, I'm not playing a season here. I'm just going to play one game. Uh, 49ers-Lions. What that is your well can't be a Super Bowl matchup for you know, any of these people and that's okay. So I'm just playing the game. It's more about how ridiculous this game is than anything. Oh god, those graphics are terrible. <laughs> this is the perfect game to end on, it's just so ridiculous. Yard run. Anybody was following that. First down. Oh boy, uh, that was almost an uh, interception or a fumble. Complete. Oh. That's right, I can still tackle the guy after the play. I forgot all the weird stuff you can do in this game. Oh, oh yeah. What a stream it is. Oh, I can't believe it. Ah. <laughs> Suicide Blitz. I don't have to worry about penalties in this game. how they determine this matchup. Still not as ready for the controls of this. Oof, almost got him. Oh, thank God. Someone on the other team was going to catch that. Seriously? That's an interception? Oh, that was crap. So, obviously, defense is very much optional in this. Oh! Oh, yeah. Turbo on. 
Kind of like NBA Jam in that regard. It's got the over-the-top physics. Crap, crap, crap. Get him! Oh, that was close. Let's see if they go for it. They're going for the field goal. They got it. 10-0. It's alright. Still early in the game. I didn't know I could lateral it like that. You can field position. That seemed like a reasonable play. I would probably watch more real football if it went like this. Ah, five yard run. Wait, remembering some of the controls here. Oh, why would I? Okay, I'm almost glad that was incomplete. Now, am I close enough for a field goal here? Wow, that was way off. Hey, there's an ad for Hydro Thunder. That sucked. Fumble. Got it. That's kind of funny. All right, so they get the ball, and then I get it right back. Let's see if I can do something with this. Let's say he was wide open. Let's see if I can get a touchdown here. Touchdown. Ten six. run. Boom! Get your one yard run right there. Jeez, how many passes was that? Either way, they all sucked. Crap. Got the first down. It's 10 to 7 first quarter. Jeez, how long is he going to run for? Oh, 24 yard run we just gave up. Come on. Got it. Interception. Another turnover. Love it. And a little 8 yard run. No, I think it's <laughs> broken. I think it's broken. 10 yard pass, third and 10. Not loving it, but not competing, I guess. Oh, come on! Oh, that was so close! Ooh, should I go for it? Should I go for it? I'm going for it. Got it! Oh, sorry, I couldn't not go for it there very least I should have a chance to tie the game now intercepted ah oh, that blows a lot of back and forth going on in this thing crap that's how many turnovers are in this game you never know what could happen at least holding to a field goal here running out of time in the first quarter or they'll just throw a touchdown. That sucked. Good play, though, but it sucked. Jeez. Alright, not great field position. Three yard run. That ain't gonna get it done. Oh, still incomplete. It's the end of the first. Down 17 to 7. Maybe this game will take longer than I thought, but that's alright. I'm enjoying it. That's not going to get it done. And I'm not going to go for it on 4th and 12. So it looks like we're going to punt. Twenty 
23 yard run. Is that Harry Sanders? How uh, old this game is? Oh, I would have liked to have that. Right, let's try and stuff him here because we are not moving the ball extremely well. Fourth and three. They might go for a field goal though. They missed. All right, no points. Good. Give it to 17 7. Fumble, turnover. That's ah, kicking the guards. A lot of that going around today. Jesus. Spike that ball. Probably gonna get a field goal out of this unless I something happens here. Two yard loss, fourth and 17. They're gonna get that. That's good, 20 to seven. Basically I'm down two scores here. Not much of a run back either. Right. Something's gotta happen. All right, 21 yard pass, not bad. Oh, are you kidding me? Freaking turnovers is that now? Not even counting my turnover on downs earlier. They've gotten a couple turnovers, but. Jeez. Savage. No good. Yeah, this is getting annoying. It's like. Are you. Oh, I thought he was going to get another interception on that. It's so hard to hold on to the ball. Jeez, getting a complete pass. Finally completed one, and it's nowhere near anything, so I'm going to have to punt it again. Punt. It's like the laziest punt I've ever seen. Defense hasn't been terrible, considering how many turnovers I've had. I say that as I give up this potentially huge pass play. Fumble! Turnover. Alright, that's fine. We'll get the ball back. Easy come, easy go. He's wide open. Nice pass. Seven yard pass. Felt like longer than that, but whatever. All right, we're getting there. Should at least get a field goal out of this. Field goals aren't going to get me back in this game. First down. Let's see if I can run it in. He's going to the half with a fighting chance. Go, 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 go. Touchdown. Twenty of fourteen. All right. Close game. Thirty yard return. Did not like giving that up. Especially in this game. Alright, if I can keep playing some good defense on them. Oh, that would have been a nice interception to pick up. Turnovers are keeping me in the game. Crap. Oh, huge play to give up at a very inopportune time. Ah, oh, that would have been nice to pick up, but I digress. Jeez. 
Try to hold him to a field goal, maybe. No, we're not. Sucks. That fucking sucks. Alright, let's see if I can get close enough for a field goal before time is over. Probably not, but a couple deep passes, maybe. Gotta keep this one close. Nice pass, nice pass. Oof. Completely took out my receiver there. And that's a loss. So what do I have for choices here? I'm gonna go for it. First down, and I got time for a field goal. Oh, didn't even get a lousy field goal out of that. Time for one play. That's it for the half. Down 27-14. That sucks. All right, well, there you go. Try to get, make a comeback here. I need two touchdowns. Interceptions, fumbles, other stuff. Just keep on bringing it. Complete. Stifle them. Let's go. A touchdown in the first half at the end really killed me. Five yard loss. Long third down coming up. Oh, that would have been a nice turnover to get. Alright, so they're buried. Let's see what they do. Nice deep pun. Wow, what a fantastic two yard return. <laughs> I'm glad that was incomplete, not fumbled. Oh, god damn. Just buried back here. Wow. All right, that's a punt. Jeez, three useless plays. Yeah, they're in good field position, too. Great. Double whammy of lousiness. It's going to lead to probably a field goal unless I can get a turnover here. Third down. That's good. 30 to 14. I'm going to have to get some points on the board in a hurry here. That was stupid. Another bad field position. Got it. First down. Nice. So I've been running in for another touchdown. Make this thing a little more interesting. Get it. Get oh, that game is open. Damn it. Oh, we are wasting this opportunity right now. Completely wasting it. Touchdown. Really needed that. 21 to 30. Okay, let's try and hold them off the board this time. Jeez, what a good return. Need to 
defensive stop. Let's see if they go for a field goal. They are going for one. They got it. That was a deep field goal. All right, 21-33 is a weird score. That was a return. Nice pass. We starting to get a feel for offense, so let's see if I can get back in the game that way. He's all by himself over there. Oh, probably could have run that in if I knew what I was doing. Go, 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 go! Touchdown! Nice shot. 28-33. Very interesting game. Oh! Ridiculous run. Let's try and just keep them pinned down here. Right, another field goal. That one's going to miss. So now I got a chance to take the lead here with a touchdown or something. Let's do it. Let's get this ball back. Oh, that would have been nice to have. Jeez, now my helmet off. First down. Within scoring range. Oof. Was close to a touchdown. Oh, that was close. Just out of bounds. Oof. I gotta go for field goal. It's too risky. All right, so we cut the lead to 33-31. Still got another quarter of football to play. So, momentum's still on my side, although it would have been nice to come away with a touchdown there, obviously. Wow, I was incomplete somehow. Damn it. That's a first down. Really want to stop them. at the end of the third. Crap. No, 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 no. They want to get a field goal, that's fine. I'm not giving up another touchdown. I'm so giving up another touchdown. I'll be down by nine again. That's the end of the third quarter. So fourth quarter coming up, down 40 to 31. Still a chance. It's too bad nobody's watching this because this is actually a pretty good game. Alright, last quarter and the last uh, few minutes of the stream here. Just gonna run him in for a touchdown that way. Wow, three yard pass. My offense is going to start to stall again. Go, 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 go. Oh, that's close. I'm going to have to go for a field goal. Probably won't get it, but... Come on! It's good! I don't know how it's good, but it's good. Thirty-four forty. Oh, I would have liked to get that interception. You can stuff him here. It's like I just keep crawling back into the game. Crap. 
Fumble. Got it. Wow, what a turn of events. I'll take it. Nice pass. Come on, let's try and get back in this now. That was stupid. Very least. Let's see if I can get into field goal range with a good pass. That might have been all I did. I don't know if I'm in range. I'm not. I'm going for it. Got it. That was huge. He's wide open. Mm. I had more field than that. Touchdown. The extra point will give me the lead. What a game. Whew. They're going to get the ball back. Still plenty of time. Another fumble or something. That fumble was huge. Getting it on fourth down was huge. It's been a really just intense game. Did not need that. That was not good. That's not good. They're driving. Have to hope for something here. Driving at this point, I almost may as well just give up a touchdown because, yeah. Oof, that would have been nice. Oh! Right. They're going for two. And they got it. That sucks. Now I need a touchdown. I mean, I needed one anyway, but now I need one just to tie it. Oh, that blows. Wow. That really sucks. I don't know. I'm, like, so out of this game right now. All right. I need a touchdown. That's it. This is not going well. I gotta go for it. I'm not in field goal range. Got it. Another clutch one. First down. What a game. Oh. Need a touchdown here. Touchdown. What a play. Tie game. Jeez. Problem now is, though, my defense has not been very good these last few drives. They only need a field goal to win it. Do not give up any big plays here. Just got to smash them. Kidding me? Oh, that sucks. Gonna lose the game on a freaking quarterback run. They're gonna get a field goal. Doesn't even matter at this point. All right, they're gonna go for the field goal probably. And it's good. They take the lead. Uh, luckily I got some time to drive. Let's go for some quick passes. It's not over yet. Come 
five yard pass. This sucks. Four seconds. I need a field goal to tie. Nope, that's the game. Should have just gone for another play, but it was, that was a close game. Really good one, though. Sorry no one was here to see it, but that is going to do it for me, Bobby Gaines, Chaos Blur. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching Retro Request Party Episode 6. The Dreamcast got some great games out there. Showed some of the more well-known ones, but also some of the more obscure ones. So we got a great game of NFL Blitz to send you.